Alright, using a different camera. So I'm still waiting for the stupid videos to process. They're taking forever again. So I've uploaded this video twice now. In response to unseen perfidy. But, um, yeah, it hasn't been going too well. So we'll see. So I can't use the other camera because i got to make sure the video uploads. But anyway, I was thought I'd respond to some of the jackass comments on the Napalm Sucks video. Um, just because they're just so stupid. And so, you know, you got to respond to some of it. Uh, so this asshole, of course, I'm blocking him for comments. It's just bullshit. Gary is a bigot. He's so, <clears throat> so he's in no position to call people bigots, right? Well, you're a liar. Uh, a few months ago, he was going on a transphobic rant um, in his tiny chat room. I didn't go on a rant. I went on a rant about, yes, spending preposterous amounts of money to fail. <laughs> you know, and uh, I don't think that's a public obligation to do extraordinary uh, surgeries on people. Um, yeah, that doesn't make me transphobic, idiot. doesn't make me a bigot against transgender um, people because I don't think they're entitled to hundreds of thousand dollars worth of surgery. Anyway, my weak mother was able to quit smoking a few months back and, she has been, and she's been smoking since she was 12 years old. Uh, what is she now, 14? Um, you know, so what? And, and that proves what? Oh, oh that... That undoes all the rat studies, you know, where the rats died for nicotine. That's right, they preferred nicotine over food. Um, but that undoes all that. Nicotine isn't the most addictive compound. Um, the scientists are lying um, because your mother quit. You really don't understand anything about addiction, right? You do understand that some people can drink alcohol, no problems. Other people drink alcohol, they drive their, as I saw my neighbor do, they drive their car actually into somebody else's house, and then they still drink and drive, amazingly, because they're drunk all the time and insane, and then they die. And um, that doesn't really happen, though. Oh, that's right, it does really happen. Yeah, you're just so fucking ignorant, right? You, don't, you really don't understand that compounds are different, and the people reaction to compounds is different. Some people are allergic to peanuts, you know, just the smell of them, and wipes them right out. The fact that Gary can't get over his vice makes me have less respect for him. Well, I'm sure you didn't have any respect for me, and I'm sure you're a weasel and a cunt. You're a faceless nothing. Um, the argument he uses for cigarette smoking could be used to justify eating meat. How so? Uh, where's meat on the list of addictive substances? Um, you can't smoke grapes as a replacement for nicotine. You just can't do it. It doesn't work. Okay, nicotine is an individual, unique compound and uh, can't be acquired anywhere else or through any other mechanism than tobacco. It's just the way it works out, fuckhead. Uh, you can't understand that because you're, what, retarded? You didn't go to high school? You don't know basic chemistry? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my addiction, I can't quit. I'm too powerless. Whatever. It doesn't. I don't have an obligation to quit, right? The argument isn't whether or not I can quit. The argument is whether I should have to quit. I don't want to quit. That's why I don't quit, right? I don't want to. I want to smoke cigarettes. And I don't want cunts like you telling me I have to pay you $3,000 to do it. And so, yeah, I would like to get my $3,000 worth out of your ass sometime. And if there's some way I can fuck with you, I'll be glad to fuck with you. And that's the kind of world you're going to create, you assholes. You get what you're willing to give. If you will give no respect, you will get no respect. All right? And so it's going to come back. You're, you're going to get what you're asking for, which is a world that will fuck you up. Make angry people, and then you'll get more angry people. So bravo, asshole. I mean, really, there's just nothing to be accomplished here except to give rich people a tax cut, and you're defending it. You're defending taxing poor people, poor working people who enjoy a nice cigarette, and you're saying, I'm going to tax the fuck out of them so I can give the richest people in the world a tax cut. And I'm supposed to say what to you? It's a fuck, you cunt. You just can't die soon enough. All right. Uh, if these videos are a waste of time, why are you even replying to them, Gary? 
Yeah, that's a, t a very difficult question. It really is. Um, yeah, sometimes I make mistakes. I mean, I'm trying to think of an analogy of some other thing that I've done that's rather stupid. I, I mean, I wore my broken sneakers today, and I stubbed my toe in a rock again, and that was really dumb. So, I mean, that was a stupid thing to do. So, yeah. So, sometimes I do something stupid. Yes, and replying to these videos and replying to you in particular is really just plain stupid. But you don't deserve it. Uh, you are making yourself look bad by not watching the whole video. Well, why would I watch an hour and a half of some fat, stupid, ugly cunt lie? And that's all you're doing. You're all liars. You know what a liar is? Sheesh. And you're ignorant liars. I mean, you don't even know what a, a, an addictive substance is. <laughs> you don't. You don't understand the word addiction. You don't understand the concept. Why should I be fucking having any kind of... Why would I waste my time if you were doing an hour and a half video on a subject you didn't know anything about? And these assholes obviously don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They think inflation created a 2,000% increase in the price of cigarettes. That's fucking retarded. Uh, let's see. Replying to an out-of-context portion of the video makes you look like a douchebag. Well, I don't care what it makes it look like to you. I obviously didn't reply to an out of context portion I said I'm gonna jump through the video and that's what I did I randomly jumped through the video you don't like it too fucking bad they don't like it too fucking bad but yeah I'm not watching an hour and a half of crap I said if the guy wants to stick to the subject I'll argue the subject but they don't want to stick to the subject so fuck them and fuck you douchebag uh, you should be better off not to reply at all if you're not going to do that well whatever uh, next time I will just block you without even reading your comments and there probably will be a next time of course Because this way YouTube works. I'll no doubt have some other channel for which I'll have to dispose of you again uh, so Anyway, just remove we'll block him first uh, I don't bother removing it. Well, I won't bother removing it. I'll just block him uh, let's see. Thomas Jefferson wasn't convicted of rape because silly Sally Hemings was... Yeah, damn. Uh, anyway, so I did block him. I don't know where the camera cut off. Batteries, I guess. Um, so anyway, with the Thomas Jefferson wasn't convicted of rape because Sally Hemings was black and she was a woman. Neither had rights back then. Apparently Gary doesn't know that. Yeah, I, I do know that. The, my, I, you know, sometimes I guess the, you can misinterpret what somebody says. I was making the point that there wasn't any conviction, which means there wasn't any trial, which means there wasn't evidence presented, which means we don't know the truth of the circumstance of their sexual interludes. So you want to say that Thomas Jefferson, what, you know, put knives to their necks and said, I'm going to rape you bitches. I don't know. You have evidence of it? No. So, I mean, the word rape is just kind of a heavy word to use in a circumstance where you really don't have any evidence of exactly how the sexual encounters happened. So I just think it's excessive language. You don't understand that? You don't understand the difference between um, statutory rape and, you know, violent rape? I do. I'm sorry you don't. I mean, we should have different words for these things, obviously. But obviously it's a conditional rape in the sense that, yes, having sex with a slave is probably inappropriate. But if they're in love... So, I mean, who are you to say? You know, you know the truth, though. You have the truth. I don't. You have some facts. I don't. I'd like to see your facts about the fact that it was a rape against her will. He took her against her will. You have evidence of that. I don't think you do. Maybe pull the filter out of your teeth and replace it with a rolled piece of cardboard. That's quite useless. Better still, toss the lot in a bin and get some decent cannabis instead. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm a little sick of potheads. You know, edible napalm's a pothead. Can't seem to get through a day without it. And, um, yeah, whatever. I just don't need this mush. Jokes aren't funny. I mean, they really aren't. I guess I've got no use for jokes about three grand out of my pocket and being forced to compromise my life and my liberty to these assholes. It's not a funny 
story at all. Especially considering the whole court case. I had a stroke, you know. <laughs> I had a stroke right at the end of that court case. It might not be coincidental. But I mean, yeah, it was right after the decision in that court case I had the stroke. Hey, Gary, <laughs> why are you losing your time and your... Why are you losing your time and our time with these trollish buffoons? Question mark. I don't know. Why am I reading your stupid fucking comment? Uh, at the end of your life, when you evaluate your life, what will you answer your life? Oh, will you just go to hell? I mean, I really should just, I should really just block you. Okay, here we go. For fuck's sake, they are 30 plus years old and they haven't worked a day in their lives. Okay, you don't need to do all this crap. All right, it's just totally unnecessary. He wasn't wasting his time because he knows that they are right. Well, that's obviously nonsense. Gary refuses to watch their videos based on lame pussy excuses. Oh, yeah, like what's the lame uh, pussy excuse? I make three hours of videos a day. Um, this is a terrible waste of my audience's time, I would argue. I'm much better doing um, uh, Antonio Damasio videos or some other kind of video than wasting my time defending myself against your lies and slander, you stupid cunt. And that's all this is, is lies and slander. Boy, you suck. Okay, if they have the balls, let them confront you in a live debate. Uh, which they, well, I'm always available for this, so this is kind of just pointless and useless. Quite obviously, anybody can show up on a Saturday night, and I'll be perfectly glad to argue the point, but I'm not going to have a formal debate. There's no point. Well, I don't mind. But in a way, I just don't even want to give these assholes any credibility. I mean, why would I even have a form? What am I, what am I formally going to debate? The fact that cigarettes are taxed by 800%? It's just a fact. I don't. I shouldn't have to debate this bullshit. Uh, true. A woman smoker at my college supported raising taxes to pay for schools. Fuck that. The, the parents should pay. Yeah, well, pretty much. Oh, this one got spammed out. Let's see, any, now, now, brother, don't smoke that all at once. Remember when mom caught you smoking all the cigarettes and she made you eat a bar of soap? I remember you telling me you love the taste of soap so much that you actually got a, whatever, fuck you. Uh, so you're like that fat guy's friend or something? Let's see what she said, or it said, whatever the fuck it is. Uh, mind your manners, young man. Gary is protected of his sisters. He'll wish cancer on you if you aren't careful. Yeah, whatever. I think we can do away with Mary. Mary can go take the ferry to, I don't know, Ink Airy. Alright, let's see. When Serge Ginsburg quit smoking, the world almost stopped. Last five minutes. I don't know what that means. Uh, let's see. The ex-smokers are most aggressive about it. What's up with that? Yeah, I don't know what's up with that either. If government wants people to stop smoking, then they should simply close the factories and manufacture cigarettes or double the price of cigarettes in one go instead of this gradual BS. I don't even understand how that makes sense. They've more than doubled it. It's 800%, you stupid fuck. It's eight times the price already, you stupid shit. The anti-smoke bigots should consider the hypocrisy when they sit behind the wheel of their 4x4 drilling sideways and emitting carbon monoxide, toxic gases. Frankly, many humans just get a kick from putting other people down, and that's the real problem. Well, whatever. You're not really saying what I've said very inarticulately. <laughs> I mean, it's just bigotry. It's an illegal tax, and that's the real subject. If they had to defend it in an actual courtroom, they couldn't defend it. But they won't let you get to a courtroom. Ah, <clears throat> if it's so batty waddy, how did you go 30 days without one, you poor thing, rolling on the floor, whatever that crap is. So you just want to get blocked again, huh? Yeah, okay. I mean, I didn't realize you were this idiotic. I mean, what a, what a waste thing to comment on. You don't understand cigarettes are addictive. Oh, I get it. 
Uh, let's see. Unless you got high off cigarettes, rolling on floor again. You do a lot of rolling on the floor. And you fucking retards do that too. Have you ever seen that? You know, mongoloids, they'll roll on the floor too. Your bra brain degra degrades receptors to the chemical message the cigarette compounds mimic. Um, whatever. Cocaine could addict you right away since it feels good psychologically. But again, I don't, I don't. nicotine is already a proven compound. It doesn't need any more. There's, the studies have already been done over and over and over. You want to keep pretending they haven't been? Well, fuck you. You're an idiot. Go to hell. I mean, really. It's not, it's not the subject anyway. The subject is, is whether the majority has a right to tax minority vices, and they don't excessively. They have to tax them fairly, like every other commodity. If the majority abuses its power to tax, then the majority should go to fucking jail. You should go to fucking jail, you stupid cunt. You're a fucking un-American traitor. Anyway, stroke, stroke. I don't know what that means. I had to post it twice, obviously. A person of no repute. No useful value at all. Uh, I wonder how fat it, this asshole is. He's radioactive, he says. He says he's radioactive. But I bet what he really is is fat. No videos, no activity. No, nothing. Just a common, average, shit-talking douchebag. Yep. So, shouldn't even let people have accounts like this. I mean, why? Why let people have accounts that are totally unaccountable accounts? It's not really an account if you're not accountable. I uh, never had a bad day with a cigarette until nihilist cunts lobbyists decide to smack a 200% tax increase on it. It's 800%, Dave. I mean, you're just... <laughs> Damn, you really are stupid. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> and yes, I know you said taxing in itself isn't the problem you have with it. You know, I, yes, excessive taxes. Assuming that, yes, the tax on cigarettes should be lower, and maybe it should. If you could then afford them, but someone below you can't, would you still fight for their right to have said vice? Well, I'm, I'm just, look, I can't, I can't make the point any clearer. If you, have, if you enjoy a liberty, and liberty has a social cost, then you should pay a fee for the liberty. Right, so if you mountain climb and we have to go get your dumbass body off the mountain, you should pay a fee for insurance. And so, you know, cigarette smokers have a slight liability, maybe, but in net, they're a net profit to the economy. So you can't really justify a fee, but let's just say you can make a 25% tax. Fine. Um, yeah, what's wrong with that? Oh, nothing. That's right. The sad truth is that someone is going to suffer about not affording something as long as there is a price tax or something. Well, again, I don't, I, it's, it's marginal, small tax, and yeah, you have to you have to pay for your liberties. That's right. So I don't. I, I mean, I, I'm not upset that poor people can't ride in yachts, and I'm not going to be upset if some poor people can't afford um, whatever Stolishnaya vodka. Uh, saying too bad to those people is a bit harsh. Well, I don't think it is a bit harsh, frankly. So, fuck you. I, I mean, what, you want to give everything to everybody for free? Now, that's not going to work. The, the, the issue is the tax proportional to other vices. Similarly situated, treated similarly. So either you're for taxing fatty food and alcohol, or you're for reasonably taxing all of them instead of unreasonably taxing any of them. It's not a complex question, you stupid fuck. Yeah, I think I'll block you. What the fuck? I don't like you. You're an asshole. Rude and stupid. Alright, dear scissors, leave Gary alone. Yeah, I don't need these, whatever they are, comments, Faith. Sometimes your comments are quite useless. Uh, let's see. Drug addicted people are mentally weak. Or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the very concept, the fact that you don't know what the word addicted means is just amazing. Obviously, the word addicted indicates a kind of the addictive substance is controlling, which means, I guess, weakness in your mind. 
but whatever. Uh, it's just stupid. Uh, let's see. Uh, many people go through traumatic events, but not all of them resort to taking drugs. Well, again, it's not, it's not taking drugs. There's different categories. Um, you know, in, in a sense, you could say dessert is a drug. Or, um, you know, many things that give you comfort. You might call them drugs. Uh, so that's just a bogus pile of shit. Uh, let's see. It's only those weak folk who need that shit. Well, again, uh, yeah, I'm not, <laughs> I've made the point, okay? It's an addictive substance. I started smoking when I was 11 years old. I can see that it was a mistake to ever start smoking. And, uh, and I can see that I am addicted to the substance nicotine. Now, you want to insult me because of that? Well, you go ahead. But who are you? Show me your face, you fat fuck. Let's see who this asshole is. Uh, dun -dun -dun, probably a person of no merit. No integrity whatsoever, I'm sure. Let's see. What do we get here? Uh, let's see. Oh, they're not his videos. Just like likes. Why are the likes showing up on your videos? That's kind of silly. Incredibly silly. So anyway, yeah, you, you show nothing. You put up nothing. Just an insulting little weasel. Fucking assholes. So yeah, I did block you, right? No, block you now. Fucking asshole. Uh, well, I think I've said in the video somewhere how long I've smoked. So what? You, you, you're, you're expecting somebody to give you personal answers. Oh, I need to, you to give me personal answers. Well, no, fuck you. I think I've made it more clear more than once that I've been smoking for 40 years. Let's see. Your moniker should be just say no to cigarettes. A prime example of an 800% time. Well, I'm not going to read all that crap. His argument is that it is discriminatory because it's not only being taxed out of reach. It's taxed fairly in comparison to the other district on unhealthy substances. Yeah, so he's making the argument. Um, yeah, well, this Ronald guy is such a douchebag. I just block him. He says, chronic douchebag. Chronically douchebagged. All right, so that's enough. That's enough. The end, I would hope. I thought there was some asshole commented about the price of cigarettes. Mm, but I didn't see that comment here. It must be on some other video. Damn, I really thought I'd covered it. Well, anyway, till next time and such.